Welcome back friends with another movie reaction. Today we're watching Transformers 1 and I'm excited for this because it's the first animated version of Transformers I've seen since the very funky Beast Wars series back in the day. And then the other Transformers things I've seen have been live action, the first Transformers film, Bumblebee, and the Beast Wars movie. And based on the title of this, I'm guessing it's an origin story about their time on Cybertron, which I don't know too much about other than what we saw at, I think, at the start of the Beast Wars film. And I think I really liked that part and wanted more of it, so I hope that's what we're getting here. Let's check this out. P.O. Box address is in the description. Full reactions on Patreon. Leave a like and Autobots roll out. God, that was a little corny. What's this about? Uh oh. He's gonna get found. Based on his color scheme, he's Optimus Prime. Primus. To protect our universe, he sacrificed his life force, transforming himself into our planet. What? The Matrix of Leadership. Matrix, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Cybertron's natural power source, Energon, flowed in abundance. Energon! Staining life. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. He doesn't have a cog. Let's give him a, a cog. Start. Why not? It's not like he can transform. Oh yeah. Well, watch this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> hey, fellas. Thanks for the head start. You want to? Are you out of breath? You're dead. I'll take that as a no. Oh. Sorry, sir. I didn't mean you. I'm no cog. Who was behind you? Where'd he go? The oh. Blue bot. He went that way. When I get my hands on him. Didn't go that way. Thanks for the assist. If we did have cogs, I'd transform into a shovel and beat you. I don't like how fast <laughs> you answered that. But listen, he's had it on his mind for a while. I couldn't give you this awesome Megatronus Prime thing I have here. It's cool. I'll give Megatronus. You what Megatronus? Let me see. Oh, yeah, don't grab. You're gonna crease you. <laughs> Wait. You know, Sentinel says Megatronus is the strongest prime to ever live. I know, buddy. But He's Megatron? They're best friends? Thanks. Always got your back. Whoa. No matter what. What happened? Holy crap. They're like second class citizens. Who do the grunt work, who don't have the ability to transform. Oh, you don't say. Jeez. Oh. Breaking protocol. Nice idea. Oh. You can always get another leg, right? Would you please exit the tunnel of death? Alita, it's about to get messy out there. Tunnel of death. Oh, God. Uh oh, oh, shit. Is that gonna cause problems? I told you to evacuate. I did. Eventually. If I get fired because of you, oh, please. they're not gonna fire you. <sighs> you're fired. You're fired. What? You are what? no cog bots with limited options. <sighs> Report the waste management. My finger can transform. Guess which one? I'll give you a limited option. Oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Allow me. <laughs> oh! Took the hit for him. He's back? He's back already? Maybe you found the Matrix. I don't know about that. I did not find the Matrix. Hello to our saviors, the industrious miners who toil selflessly. Saviors, but treated poorly. We've returned empty hand. This is a setback. <sighs> Rest assured, I will find the Matrix of Leadership so that Energon can flow again. What if they already have it, but they want to subjugate these miners? Thunk, 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 thunk. Oh, good. You're up. Come on. I have an idea. What if, what if... We stole? What if we ran in the Icon 5000? Huh? What if I <laughs> kill you for waking me up? No, no, no. We can't fly. We can't roll. We can't race. Come on, let's Could, go. Run on two limbs. Two robot limbs. Yeah, maybe you're right. I'll just do it myself. He's a robot with big dreams. Where are you going? The stadium's that I signed this up. Yeah, I know. Follow me. <laughs> Sign us up without your consent. Best view in the house. Welcome to the 
Pretty cool. So we're not competing? For us. Oh man. Oh. The inevitable butting of heads. Fifty cycles since we lost the matrix of leadership and our energy oh. dried up. Fifty cycles since the battle that killed the other primes. My brothers and sisters in arms. Today we huh. honor the primes who gave their lives. Am I right to be suspicious? Is he gone? <laughs> nope. Don't. Why'd you bring Jetpack? Oh. We are more than meets the eye. Oh. oh. <laughs> Beat up all the other bots. Oh, hang on. Smart. <laughs> oh. Keep going. Find a different way. Oh. This feels like a Deku moment. This feels like a Deku moment. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Is anyone gonna interfere and make it? Oh crap. Go. Go. He's... Don't interfere. Don't. Oh god, somebody clipped him. Get back up! Get back up! And they're last. Go! How long do you think we'll be here? I'm not talking to you. <laughs> you had fun though. Do we maybe get Xavier and Magneto vibes from their relationship? Oh god. That is kind of creepy. What you two did today was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. This and I couldn't be more proud. Idea. We're so sorry. We're I loved it. So we're not getting demoted. <laughs> Promoted. Yes, you're getting demoted. No, I can't tell where he's going with this. <laughs> We're halfway into the first shift since the race ended, and that mining crew has already reached 150% quota. You inspired them. To oh, wow. Central. Have someone escort these heroes to my personal service facilities. Best care in Iacon. Huh. Until next time, legends. Is this too good to be true? Sentinel Prime. <laughs> the Sentinel Prime. Are you happy you got dragged in now? <laughs> well... Uh, this feels about right, though. You're, 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 you're others. You're not me. You're here, and you're not me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, oh my God. I'm so sorry. I had other jobs, but I kept getting reassigned because I'm so good at what I do. Oh, I'm doesn't sound right. But you can call me B. I'm actually working. Bumblebee. On the, the one I'm floating right now is um, Badassatron, which is actually pronounced. Badassatron. Oh. Badassatron. This is AP508. He's made friends. And this fella here is Literally. Oh. Oh, Steve. Uh, is that some? Holding the high guard for immediate support. This could be where the primes died in the Quintesson War. Which means this is where we could find the matrix of leadership. We what are you talking about waste disposal trains are the only vehicles that go all the way to the surface. Yeah, they don't have passengers, their trains are autonomous. Yeah, that's the so we sneak aboard. We'll be safe inside the train. Will we? <laughs> One more. Uh oh, hide, 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 hide. Hey, it's your friend. I'll lock it down. Friend, hold on. Let me. Oh, too late. She's joining us. Alita, listen to me. We know where the matrix of leadership is. Oh, That's a stretch. I'm really a prime. Whoa. Where did you get this? From my friend Steve. Orion killed him. I did not kill Steve. He was, <laughs> he was never alive. What? Danger? Is it getting bigger? Uh-huh. Or closer. <laughs> that was excellent. He just started booking it. Whoa. At least these tracks are... 
adaptable. You okay? Oh. oh. Please stop punching me in the face. <laughs> oh. Where's the train? Here it comes. Then... There it goes. It's okay. Yeah. Going the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Wait, she, she's joining us. <laughs> New friend. Hi there. Uh, you can call me B or Badassatron. It's a nickname some of the guys gave me. I don't know. I, I didn't give it to myself or anything. It's, actually, it's pronounced Badassatron. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to talk less. Sure. Oh yeah, no problem. What, what, what am I talking less about? My nickname? That's fine. just in gen in general. We're really doing this. So glad I'm out here with you. This you are. A great idea. It was? Oh, he just won't stop. There's no doors, we're outside. Hey, look, there's one over here. It's not metal. It's like some kind of uh, oh. weird nature. And weird nature? The primes. Oh. We're here. The Matrix. You actually found it? It's. Ah. It's Alpha Trion. He's powered down, but he's spark. He's still lit. Oh, interesting. Oh, bad place to wake up. If we find the Matrix of Leadership and get it to Sentinel Prime, he can. Sentinel is no Prime. Oh, yep, I was right. What? What? You've been living a lie. Jeez. I saw the truth. I will show you. They've been subjugated without them even knowing. Actually, they, they kind of know, but... It was going to be a secret gathering of Quintesson Commander. It's a mission so important, we Primes took it on ourselves. Oh. We agreed to meet Sentinel for his sensitive intel in secret in this game. Ambush. But we were not alone. Our victory was near. Until we were betrayed. Jeez. Why? For all the power of Cybertron. That seems about right. The matrix of leadership can only be wielded by one that Primus himself deems worthy. Oh, he's mad. And Sentinel most certainly was not. It withered? Shit. Toxic waste? My ass. What do you think he's gonna to do to us when he finds out that we know? I'm not thinking about what he's going to do. I'm thinking about what we're, we're gonna, gonna do. do. That's the whole thing. Don't you wanna stop him? No, I want to kill him! <sighs> I wanna put Sentinel in chains and march him through the mines so everyone can see him for the first prime that he is. I want him to suffer and then to die in darkness. Understandable. It doesn't matter what I want, right, Pax? No son or daughter of Cybertron is born without a cog. Oh, yeah. They stripped them of it. He removed your cogs. Yeah, that makes sense. But the spark that resides in their core, a spark that gives you the will to make your world better. I see their strength in you. Ooh. Power up! <laughs> Damn. Aren't you glad I took you here? They found us. Oh, yes. Time to fight back. No. You must return to Iacon City and alert everyone. Well, how will you get. How you will you prove it? Oh, cool. Are the records I have shown you. Uh, old timer. Old, you say. Whoa! Rip and tear. Not too old for you. Uh oh. And done. <laughs> oh, it's working. It can't. <laughs> oh no! He's he's the closest. 
Uh, can we fight? We all figured it out at the same time? Sweet. Oh. Get him unstuck. Hunt down the others. Whoa. Whoa. Transformers are so cool. With Alpha's proof inside that device, we will show everyone the truth. You honestly believe it'll be that easy? Iacon doesn't want to hear the truth. They worship Sentinel. There's got to be a better way to bring him down. I will never trust a so-called leader ever again. Oh, man. There's only one body I know. Oh, fuck. Now. Interesting. Are you Resistance. Uh, why is he gagged? Because he talks too much. Stop talking. Even when he was unconscious? Especially when he was <laughs> Enough! Who we... exactly are you guys? <sighs> the Cybertronian High Guard! Uh, I told you it wasn't high enough! I'm not cowering in some busted ship playing king of the throne. I'm not pretending like I'm making a difference by throwing one punch and then running away to hide. You think you can insult me and just I think he works for him later on. You want to see the strength of one fight over another? Oh, jeez. He's gonna try to stop him. Didn't know you could do that. Bear witness. This is the last time I show mercy. Decide. Right now. Oof. You can stay here in hiding. Bowing before your pathetic leader. Or Jeez. We march on Hyakon. Oh shit. I've got the bridge. This one is so strong. Oh. Ow. Oh. Damn. So much for that plan. They got D16 and B. Oh, no. And half of those. High guard nut jobs. Half. Our proof. Oh shit! It's gone. It's all my fault. I should have stayed on protocol. And still not know the truth. Continue living. Listen to me. I like really that. want you to hear this. Are you listening? Punch him in the face. I'm better than you. <laughs> the fuck? I'm hearing you. That your instincts tell you to break protocol for a reason. Oh. This blind optimism that you have is why you make such bold and courageous choices optimism prime that are also extremely stupid <laughs> my bold instincts tell me we have to recruit some nut jobs <laughs> how about i blast you back to iron oh, everyone shut up <laughs> you. listen to him <laughs> she says muscle Look at this rowdy bunch. The high guard. You know, you guys have been tough to find. Every trip to the surface. Because he wants the monologue. For you. The truth is what I make it. <sighs> Not if I kill you today. Of course you were a fan. Megatrix <sighs> was the coolest part. Don't crease it. Why, after I killed him, I took his cog for myself. Damn. He was greater than you'll ever be. Let's make sure it doesn't come off. Oh. oh. Damn. Is he going to rip out the cog and put it in himself? Oh, Ryan? Jazz. Is it really you? Yeah, I know I uh, look a little different. Little Jazzed up. Oh, there's nothing. Sentinel is a liar. Look, I know how this will sound coming from me. I was never the most focused minor. The ADHD transformer? We can't fight. We don't have cogs. What defines a transformer is not the cog in its chest. The spark. It resides in their core. A spark that gives you the will to make your world better. Damn. Sick fuck. You're... You were going to execute him, but you got to... Torture him first. Oh, jeez. There we go. Let's break some protocol. 
that is the answer. I'm doing this my way. He trusts no one but himself. Oi! Cool. <laughs> Bad -ass -tron. If you have enough power, you can decide the truth. He's too strong. Oh. Orion, look! I have knife hands. I can see that. I'm gonna cut these guys. Watch. They ran. They ran. <laughs> Stab, stab, stab. These are not the bad guys. Why did you cut the door? I didn't, I, I didn't, that wasn't, I, it was already like that. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah, it was already mm -hmm. like Stop yeah, threatening them. It's over. <laughs> Uprising. <laughs> oh, you're going to, this is, Get someone else by accident. We can lead Cybertruck together. Don't do this. Okay, motherfucker. Oh. Why did you do that? Why? The look in his eyes changed. What the? Left him for dead. Best friends for life! Wow. Yep, that seems right. Wow. Megatron! Optimus Prime. She's blinded by rage. Holy crap! Even bigger upgrade. Oh man. They did a fist bump. Except they're punching each other. <laughs> the head shrinking away actually helped. Oh god. Just like Sentinel. You have betrayed Cybertron and its citizens. And you betrayed me. But you let him live, and he's a thorn in your side for the rest of your life. This isn't over. Of course it's not. Oh. He says Prime with such disdain. Hey, Megatron is Prime, nice. Oh <sighs> uh, yeah, well, he's my hero. The greatest, greatest Prime, prime to ever, ever live. <laughs> God I'll damn. A new beginning for Cybertron. And a new leader. Yes, about that. About that? I could use some help from the bot who is... Better than me at everything. I, I cannot let you go back to sub-level 50. No! I may be now, but I'm gonna need you by my side. Are you serious? This is the greatest day of my life! <laughs> I get to work for the government! Uh... Okay. Sure. Let the Energon flow. I am Optimus Prime. Ooh. That was so good. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting such a great film. Holy crap. Great news, the Energon's back. Yay. And I have a cog and I, and I can transform. My hands are straight up knives. Watch this. You're gonna My cut- hands. Oh, whoopsies. No! <laughs> Freaking B. We are the ones who are Decepticons. Rise up! Damn. So Transformers two. Okay, real quick. I was wrong about Alita's voice actor. It was not Rashida Jones. It was Scarlett Johansson. Listening back on it, it seems pretty obvious. And then I found out who plays Orion Pax, and it was a huge facepalm moment. Chris Hemsworth. Throughout the entire movie, I was like, I know, I know that freaking voice. And I just couldn't pin it down. I think Keegan-Michael Key was probably the easiest one in our main cast to guess, but I actually think Brian Tyree Henry was the hardest, and I recognized him immediately first over all the other actors. I've heard a lot more. Not on my game with recognizing voices recently. Anyway, that was a really, really powerful film. 
easily the best Transformers film I've seen. Again, granted, I've only seen three of these films. I enjoyed Bumblebee a lot, probably the most out of those three, and this still clears it with ease. I wonder what it would be like for people who watched this film first before going to any other Transformers media. Like, any future stuff they'd watch, they might still have some sympathy for Megatron, whereas I didn't have any background on him or any of the other Transformers when I was watching those first three films. So wa while watching them, the Transformers were cool and everything, but it was hard to get emotionally invested in them, but this just com completely changes it. It was so interesting to see Optimus Prime and Megatron before they became these legendary beings, and to see them be so close, besties promising to have each other's back forever, but us knowing how it's gonna end, it was heart-wrenching knowing what was gonna happen, and like I haven't seen much X-Men stuff in a really long time, but it reminds me of Xavier and Magneto's relationship, except I feel like with that, it feels like there's still some sort of kinship and deep care between the two. Here, it kind of feels irreversible. I think part of that is that the oppressive class gets wiped out in this film and they no longer share a common goal. And beyond the emotional angle, there was still a lot of joy and fun in this film. There was a lot of jargon that had me kind of rolling my eyes, but like in a good way, just amusing that their source of energy is called Energon. The name Matrix of Leadership is so corny, but it's entertaining and not off-putting, at least for me. And then some of the humor is just really on point. Pac saying, you think I can't transform? Watch this. And then he just starts moving like he's about to transform. And then it just cuts to him running. That was so, so good. And they had another running joke with B's reaction to the surface. Just takes off while everybody's still processing what's happening. And then there were B's friends that he made. So I think there was a good balance of lightheartedness and a much more serious story. And I was immediately suspicious of Sentinel Prime just because... Well, first, the way D16 kind of worshipped him like a celebrity immediately triggers alarm bells for me, but also the way the power structure in this world is set up, this one guy is the leader and is revered as the hero, but there exists this two-tiered system based on the circumstances of one's birth. Like, at best, he ignores the issue because it benefits him and thus reinforces the status quo. At worst, he put them there in the first place so that he could put himself on top. But yeah, back to the celebrity worship thing from D16, that's what makes him respond so strongly upon realizing his betrayal. He puts so much trust in Sentinel Prime and the rules he set, despite not knowing him at all. I'm pretty wary of like celebrity worship in real life as well. Of course, it's natural to have your favorite artists, actors, athletes, but some people get so invested that they take any criticism of that person as a personal attack. It leads to them making excuses for shitty behavior because they think they can't do anything wrong, when in reality, these larger-than-life figures are just people who can make mistakes like anybody else. And when the curtain finally gets peeled back, D16 feels the betrayal so deep that he can't see past his own anger. He can't even see that the other person he worshipped, Megatronus, who was maybe actually deserving of that level of respect, wouldn't want him to go down this path. And I'm not actually sure if Optimus Prime made the right choice by banishing him either, but maybe that's because I have the benefit of hindsight and I know that Cybertron falls to Megatron at some point. And maybe Megatron was too far gone and there was no coming back, but maybe not. Like if he saw people being like him being empowered by Optimus Prime to make sure that nothing like this ever happened again, maybe he would have changed. So in a weird way, it becomes a question of punishment versus rehabilitation. And of course, some people would say that he should have just killed Megatron right there, but Optimus Prime was never going to do that. But I wonder, in their future battles, is there a part of Megatron that feels sad that he has to turn against his old friend? Does he miss having someone who has his back because they're friends? All he has now are underlings who follow him because he's the strongest. But yeah, just because I don't know if Optimus Prime made the right choice doesn't mean I'm not a big fan of how he was written in this film. Getting to see this humble, goofball side of Optimus Prime before he became a Prime is super fascinating. He's just a guy with a bit more optimism and bravery than most. Sometimes the hallmark of a hero and a leader isn't who's the strongest or the smartest or the most talented. Heck, he admits that Alita is better than him at everything. But sometimes what's needed most for a leader is to have a vision of the world that other people can't see and the ability to inspire others to see it as well. And that's the biggest difference in leadership styles here. Megatron rules through strength and fear, while Optimus Prime leads through inspiration and the genuine respect people have for him. So much more in this film that I haven't even touched on. I'm glad they kept the core cast small. I think in the first live-action Transformers and in Beast Wars, there were too many characters and I didn't get a chance to know any of them, it felt like. I uh, really loved the racing scene. Felt very My Hero Academia with how people had to contend with those with more power and speed than them. And then there was even the damn explosive hurdle ahead. And the back and forth between PAX and D16 there was really, really fun to see. Watching bros be bros. And I didn't even get to talk about the COGS. Ripping them from newborn, newly manufactured robots before they go online? That is sickening. Taking away their birthright, weakening them so they can't rise up so he can keep control? Sentinel Prime is the worst. And then the scene where they transform for the first time was really great. They screwed up a bit at first, but 
still took to it relatively quickly, but it makes sense given that they were meant to be with these cogs the entire time. And also, the shot going back and forth with Megatron killing Sentinel and Pax becoming Optimus Prime was just beautifully done while they transform into different beings. This film is so good though, they have to do a sequel, right? As long as it made enough money. Fingers crossed for that, but even if it just like barely broke even, I feel like it's worth it just to sell more merchandise, right? And then eventually they can have Transformers minus one, the Godzilla crossover. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give this movie a 9.25. Hope you enjoyed this reaction video. Uh, this was a surprise top tier film for me this year. Thanks for watching. Full reactions on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and I'll see you guys soon with more. Bye friends.